in this tutorial, we are going to build a very simple PDF application using Langchain, OpenAI, and TKinter. So this application enables you to upload a PDF document and you are able to ask any questions in the document using the execute button. So before we get into that, if you've not subscribed to the channel, please do well to hit the subscribe button for more content like this. That really helps me a lot. All right, so let's get into the demo. Okay, so I've already uploaded a PDF document and okay, so the PDF document is just a statistical document. So we are gonna ask questions from this document, okay? All right. So I said, what is the linear regression model? And I hit execute and it gives me an answer, okay, from the document. Okay, so let me ask another question. I'm gonna say, tell me about estimating the covariance metrics. Hit execute. All right. There you go. It gives me it gives me an answer. Okay. So let's let's go back to the document and see. Okay. So it goes through the document and try to find um, similar queries or similar text that relates to the question. Okay. So let's go back to it. All right, so it gives me estimating the covariance metrics can be done by plugging an estimate of type into an equation for, right? And there are various AC estimators that differ in the choice. So it gives you an answer from the, from the document, okay? From the, uh, the query that you, you put in, okay? All right, so I'm gonna go step by step. I'm gonna show you how this was built. All right, so in your terminal, you can pip install the lang chain. If you don't have it installed, the tkinter. If you don't have that installed, you can just install it there and then pipe PDF too. Okay, that is you to interact with the PDF files. So you import the OpenAI from the langchain.llms. You import the character text splitter that is used to split the text and the open AI embeddings to create the, the embeddings and the, the face. So the face is uh, nothing but a document, nothing but a, a library. So it's called the Facebook AI similarity search. It's a library that is efficient for similarity search and clustering of 10 vectors. So it's able to find similarities within the text and um, it, it is able to um, group them based on the similarities, okay? And we are gonna need the load keyword chain. So that is used to create the chain for the, the question and answer. And also we're gonna need the PI PDF two to read the PDF files and the key thing for the for the framework, the file dialog to create the dialog box and the API key. So I have my API key here. So I just call it from API key, import the API key. It is right here, okay? So I have that, all right? So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna import the OS. All right, so we start by initiating the tkinter so we call it to root so you go to tk tk.kkinter we initiate it and we create a title the pdf question and answer so you can see it right here so i'm going to name it the pdf question and answer app and we are going to create an environment variable the open ai 
we are going to assign that to the API key. Okay. So this is going to be equal to my API, which is right here. Okay, and we're going to create the, the LLM. We're going to call the OpenAI and set the temperature to zero. So this will control the randomness of the text. So we can decide to change it depending on your use case. So I'm going to do that to be, going to use that to be zero. So the next step is to define um, a function, the upload PDF that will enable us to upload the PDF. Okay, so we are going to call a file path that is going to create the dialog box for the PDF files, okay? And so if there, if there is a path, we are going to assign the PDF file to the, to the path. And we are going to give that to a variable called a PDF reader. And we are going to iterate through the PDF pages. And for each page in the uh, PDF reader pages, we are going to um, extract the text. And we are going to append the text to the variable text. Okay, and the next step is to split the text using the character docs, the character text splitter. And you're going to break that into chunks. I'm going to say thousand. I'm going to separate them, and we are going to do a chunk overlap of zero. So depending on the use cases, you can vary that. And we are going to add the text into smaller chunks. Okay, so because we have huge we might have sometimes get a huge um, PDF file and it can read all at once. So we are going to break that into chunks, like small sizes of text. Okay. So we are going to put that into a variable called chunks and we are going to create an embedding for the chunk. So embeddings are nothing but a vector representation of the piece of text. So we are going to use the open AI embeddings and we are going to calling the API keys and creating the embeddings, meaning we are going to, they are nothing but putting them into numbers, okay? And we are going to create a doc search that is going to be the knowledge base, okay? So what we are going to do is we are going to call the, um, the chunks and embeddings. So for the embeddings, for the text, we are going to find the embeddings for the of each of the chunks. All right, so that's going to be very easy, and we will call in the the face like I showed you here. So that is this is what is going to be used to create the similarity search. So we are going to call the text. So we are going to call the each of the chunks and the embeddings using the face. Okay, library from each of the text. And the next one is that we are going to create a function that is going to execute the query. And we are going to say the query, we are going to get the query using the query entry. I'm going to say if there is the query, right? Then we're going to do call to set for similarity document and retrieve the answer. We are going to create a new doc. So I'm going to call it docs new. That is going to use the the doc search, that's the knowledge base, and it's going to find the similarity using the query. So whenever you put in the query, it is going to find the similarity that is also in the doc search. And the doc search contains the, the doc search contains the chunks and embeddings, okay? So the, let me show you. So this query right here, it's going to look through the chunks and the embeddings from the doc search, and it's going to give this the, the similarities. Okay. And the next one is we are going to create a chain, the load QA chain, and I'm going to show you what that means. Okay, so here is what I'm talking about. So it is a question and answering. So so this notebook walks through how to use the line chain for question and answers. So it is right here. Okay, so we are going to use that. So it really does well with the question and answering. So we're going to create a chain, going to do load QA chain. 
Okay, we're going to do the open AI using a temperature to be equal to zero, the chain type. So we have the other chain type that you can use for my use case. I'm going to use the stuff, All right? So we're going to use the query. So you just copy that and you paste it in here, okay? And I'm going to say my answer should be equal to the chain. I'm going to call the chain for the question and answers. I'm going to input the document. The document is going to be the, the docs new that is going to bring out the similarity search against the queries, okay? And I'm going to do the question is, is equal to the query, okay? So the question is, should be equal to the query. I'm going to do the answer answer text dot configure. I'm going to use put the answer here, okay? So basically, it's what is this what it means? I'm going to put the answer, and it's going to display the answer here, okay? And I'm going to create the so this is what creates the widget. Um, so the query label should be equal to the root. Enter a query, right? So you enter a query. This is what it means, and I'm going to say the next one is query entry is equal to, so I want to make it the width of 50, the font size should be 14, and the body is equal to 10. Right, basically, here is what that means. Um, this, so this is going to be the the widget, which one I'm going to put in, right? And the, um, the next one is execute the button, right? So we can do that. So this is what it means, the execute button. Okay, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna change that to the command execute query. Okay, so this is just a button, and we're gonna name it with the text of execute, and we're gonna change it with the um, execute query, so that anytime you hit on the execute, it is going to split out the, um, the function, the execute query, okay? Going to split out whatever is in here inside the function execute query okay and the next step is to create an answer text that is the answer label should be a text whatever you is displayed and the font size should be 16 wrap length should be six 600 you can change it based on your use cases you justify it to the left and we make it a party of 20. You can just vary it depending on what you want to get there. Okay, and you do a browse button. They upload your PDF. Okay, so this is why it means you hit on upload on PDF. That is a button. And you change it to the upload PDF function. You change it to the upload PDF function. So you hit on it, it's going to upload the function right there. And you can change the the party to be whatever size you want. In this case, I did 20. And you start the kitchen guide loop. And there you have it, you run it, okay? Yeah, basically this is what it means. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and share. See you in the next one.